Welcome to our video on how to create a report that scales appropriately across multiple device resolutions. To complete these steps, the base samples must be installed. If any of the required objects are missing, please contact your administrator. Here is a report that displays five objects, four different visualizations and a list. On a large screen like mine, the report displays four objects in a row before it moves to the next row. If I shrink my browser, the report layout adjusts automatically. If I shrink it all the way, we can see what it would look like on a mobile device like a cellular phone. In this case, we are presented with one chart at a time. There are a few steps that we had to take to create this report. If we edit the report and go to the page structure view, we can see that all the five main objects have been placed in blocks. If we select a block, we can see that the floating property has been set. If we click the ellipsis button, we can see that the float has been set to content flows on the right side of this object. If we go back to page design view, we can see some other adjustments that we made are ensuring that the visualizations are no more than 300 pixels wide so that they fit on most mobile devices. If you have a legend, the position should be the bottom because vertical space isn't as restricted in this case. And finally, set the optimized visualization size to no. Otherwise, you will probably lose some access titles or the legend when the report is rendered. We can further optimize this report for mobile devices by using HTML items to dynamically resize the font depending upon the screen resolution. The larger the resolution, the larger we set the font. In this sample, we have added HTML items around the list at the bottom of the report. The same strategy works with the charts as well. The first HTML item was placed above the list. It identifies a set of screen sizes and their associated CSS fonts. For example, the first one sets the font to 8 pixels for screens between 0 and 500 pixels. The HTML item also begins a div that applies these sizes. The second HTML item below the list ends the div. Important note, if you have any styles applied directly on the list via its properties, or a report styles reference, These will override the styles that you set in the HTML items. To accommodate the larger fonts, the size of the list has been set to a relative width of 90%. Rather than a fixed width of 300 pixels like we did with the other charts. Let's look at the dynamic font in the list again as we change the size of the browser. It's a large font when the browser screen resolution is large. And as the browser gets smaller, the font changes according to how we set it in the CSS.
with the smallest font at the smallest resolution. Thank you for watching our video on how to create a report that scales across multiple device resolutions. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.